I saw some uh, Meg G wanna be one of these podcast people who failed with the very low followers for sure his relatives only that are following him. He says I must educate Elon Musk. What is that? No, the one of Twitter. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I must educate Elon Musk. Why must I educate Elon Musk? He looks like an illiterate. The only thing that protects him is his white skin. Elon Musk wants to learn about this song. The records are there in court. Let him go and read the judgment. Let him go and listen to my arguments in court. I argued successfully and paralyzed the grandchild of um, Oppenheimer and said to him, if I were Africa Forum, I was going to fire you from this case. When they did an appeal, they fired him in line with what I said. I said, you are the most stupid lawyer I've ever met. If I was your client, I would have fired you. He was fired. So what a failed uh, a podcast, this unemployed lack of creative people who go and just take cameras and then do flopped podcasts imitating McG, faking it. McG is still going to outshine them because of their fraudulent mentality. Copycats. Says I must educate Elon Musk. Refer Elon Musk to YouTube. There is a full clip of the court appearance on that matter where it was conversed in a neutral court of law and a judgment was made. This matter is closed. We have no time for nonsense. Racists want to march into our offices. Ne? This is a, it's not a playground here. It's a revolutionary house. That's why I told uh, John Stainers in that you are a small boy. The EFF is not ANC. Let John try those things he has been doing of marching to ANC offices. He must try, come and try it here. Let one day when he's bored, try that nonsense he has been doing everywhere. Come and try it. We don't care whether even that day you would have rented black people to march with the DA. As long as you are wearing a DA t-shirt to the EFF office that day, in a disrespectful manner, you will know what the EFF is. Let him try it. He must bring that one with a wrinkled Botox face with him when they come here. We'll teach them. Yeah, it's not a place where we're scared of a white man here. Yeah. It's the only liberated zone in South Africa. Yeah. No white man comes taking chances here. Those ones who came earlier, they must thank their God. They must, they must try it again. They must thank their God. It's not a playful area here. You can argue your politics wherever you do. Don't come here. We never go to anyone's offices. We never interfere with anyone's programs. But we are not going to be undermined. We've got everything we need to protect this office. Everything. And we'll defend it with our lives. There is no song, kill the boor, kill the farmer. That's a chant. We over-explained it in court. If you have a problem with it, go to the records of the courts. Don't be lazy to read, man, and ask me the same thing all again and again and again. And I won in court. The court said there's nothing wrong singing, kill the boor, kill the farmer. When do we respect the judgments of the court? And when do we disrespect the judgments of the court? When they favor Helen Zile, we must respect them. When they don't favor Helen Zile, we must not respect them. There is a court decision that must be respected. Those who have appealed it, they must go and fight it in court. We won. And we shall sing this song in line with the court decision. The court of South Africa, an independent court, has made a declaration on this matter and is closed. This is sponsored outrage by Helen Zille. You know, black people, they, there are some black, uh, clever blacks who, who are told by Helen Zille to get angry. 
Yo, Helen is angry. Now you must be angry also. <laughs> eh? They wait for a magogo with a wrinkled Botox face. How do Botox and wrinkles go into... That's, that's, a, that's a face of a devil. A devil. Botox with a wrinkled face. Pretending that she's angry. If Helen Zilla was genuinely up, opposed to this, I don't even want to talk about that illiterate jo John Stasen. If Helen was opposed to this for real, why didn't Helen join the case? Why didn't the DA join the case when they, I was taken to Equality Court? Because I now know how they operate. Look at Adrian Basson. He just goes on a rampage. To a point where he went to uh, the dustbin to clean articles of 2011. This is what we said about Malema in 2011. Ah, you can clean them the way you want, Adrian. I defeated you. FNB Stadium was full to capacity. Yo, I could imagine your face, Adrian, pink on the screen. Angry that a man you hated filled up. FNB Stadium beyond capacity. You tried to destroy me with those 2011 articles. You failed. Why would you would destroy me now? Why would I be destroyed by Adrian Basson now? He left Cape Town. Adrian Basson works in Cape Town. This week, this weekend, he was here in the office harassing the staff of the News 24 and saying to them, you can't say everything was successful. Find something. Find something. You are going to look for something against them. Anything that we can use against them. Then they told us, Vuyani tweeted about it. He went back to the staff and said to the staff, who told them? Who told them that I'm here? Who told them? Everything Adrian is doing in that office, we get it toe for toe. He thinks those staff members like him. They are tired of his racism. They too are tired of his racism. They've been arguing with him. Adrian, it was successful. It's enough. Let's ac ac just acknowledge it. Why do you want us to write things that didn't happen? And the fighters have been calling for us to call for the banning of News 24 in EFF activities. I don't think we must ban them, shame. We must harass them through success. They must come here and see the cakes. <laughs> After a year, there is music, 20, news 24 music. <laughs> and then uh, there, there are drinks after. <laughs> For all of you, drinks, <laughs> including News 24, you can drink. <laughs> mm. You must come here. We're going to invite you here to remind you when you enter that beautiful uh, building that we failed. This is a reminder. We are inviting you to, to we invite you to remind you of how much you failed and how much you are going to fail. Racism will never triumph, not in South Africa. And Adrian Basson is a racist small boy who will never succeed against us. We are not going to burn any news 24. Abela di yo manavar na relevele chi manava news twenty four. Ri ya wa lau fala. Mudima rabela di yo. AWB, they are excited, my guy. Don't worry about them. The EFF members are capable of defending their own organization and their own office. They will defend it with everything. For sure you all know them, how fearless those people are. We're the ones who are always saying to them, hey, hey, wait, man, I, wait, wait, wait. But otherwise, they are forever ready. Now you went to see them outside. No one called them. You guys reported that there is a situation at the EFF office immediately. But what? And then they came here. They were not invited by a, no one, none of us called anyone to bring anyone here. Our security is always tied in the office. In most cases, they are in the basement. And that's why you don't get to see them. But when there are such threats, then they have to come out. Why? We try equally.
to make sure that the office is not intimidating as such and is user-friendly and accessible. But when such people now come with such threats, they are left with no option but to come outside. What have I done? Where is the recourse? What happened to listening to the other side? No court has ever found us guilty about any wrongdoing. No, you are a pep, you are not good for our image, close the account. You know, uh, some girl, this song killed the boer, if it had any negative connotation and incitement, it should have done it in the 90s. It had all the reasons to do it in the 90s. It still hasn't done it. So why would it do it now? Because I really don't know what you're talking about, saying now the environment is uh, so, uh, let's say, sensitive uh, and, uh, to a point that this might incite. Now! When it couldn't do it, when the clerk was killing our people in Buipatong, that's why this song should have incited violence. It still didn't. So, to say to us, don't sing this song because it belongs to the 90s, and you are asking me to forget my history, I will not do that. I will not do that. It's, this song is part of my history. It's who I come from. I use this song to remind myself of what we have gone through. And we have emphatically and repeatedly said, the Boers and the farmers do not refer to individuals, but refer to a system of oppression. And I said in court, we used to refer to the police as Boers. When the police entered our township in Sishiu, they were black police. Because anything that represented the system was referred to as the Boers. Even a black person was referred to as a boer because he belonged to the system in a form of a police person. So, from its inception, it has never been targeted at individuals. It has always been targeted at a system of oppression. And our people understand it for what it is. If we had intentions to kill anyone, we had 100,000 people under our nose. After chanting it, we would have all left that stadium in unison to go and kill the white people. But our people understand it that it doesn't mean what these people are saying uh, it means. So um, it's, not, it's, it's, it's more relevant now, especially where you've got a problem of youth political apathy. The youth need to know what we went through. And they can only know through uh, political education, through political songs, through political literature, that this is a system that is unacceptable and we must stand up and participate politically to avoid the return of that system.